Hey YouTube, this knife is the Cuda Max. It has a D2 blade steel, 5.5 inches in blade length, uh, titanium handle scales, it is a frame lock, and you see the blade shape, a bayonet grind, uh, kind of like a dagger but single edged. See it has those two ornamental grooves, look very nice, satin finished blade. All right, now this was designed by a famous custom knife maker, Daryl Ralph. And this is a discontinued model, but there is a very similar model called the Mad Max that is a custom knife. And it pretty much has the same uh, blade shape, blade length, the handles look very similar. Now the Mad Max folders are actually custom. They, uh, according to the advertisement, they are made by hand and they go for over $400. All right, so the reason I bought this blade, I bought it used and I got it for less than half the price of a Mad Max. So that was my motivation. I, the Mad Max has S30V, whereas this Cuda Max, as I said, is D2, uh, but I, you know, for the price, I was very happy to find one of these. You can find these on the secondary market. These Cuda Max knives were uh, produced by Camillus, or some people say Camillus, um, but that company is no longer in business. It actually got purchased by a foreign company, all right? So the U.S. Camillus is no more, unfortunately. All right, check out the size comparison between the Cuda Max in the middle and two of my extra large cold steel Voyagers, the Clip Point and the Tanto Point. Uh, as you can see, this is a very large knife. Uh, the same blade length as the two XL Voyagers. The handle is a little shorter, a little slimmer, which I do like. But yes, this is a big knife. Very few companies will go this big. But yes, as you might have guessed, this is not an everyday carry type of knife, uh, unless you're carrying every day uh, in a war zone or something like that. But as you can see, you know, it's kind of a purpose-built knife, but it would be good at its job. All right, and here's a close-up of that uh, satin finished blade itself. It's very nice. I do like how those two uh, ornamental grooves, you know, they just catch the light and they set it off. And you can see the integral guards. One of them turns into the flipper. And uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a, just a beautiful, it's a beautiful piece. I mean, even just as a nice collectible item, I like it quite a bit. And the handle, as I said, is a solid titanium scales frame lock, obviously open pillar. You want to see the lock up? It's uh, medium, maybe slightly early. Oh no, I think it's right about 50%. I like that. See it has a one position pocket clip. And the lock up on this is solid. I was surprised. Very solid. No blade play. The partial tang, it's very short. Which is usually a bad thing. With such a short partial tang, you would expect it to develop play. But it's so well made, it doesn't have any play at all. No side to side or rocking. All right, and deployment. Hold on. It's via that flipper. It's a heavy blade, so obviously it just kind of gets momentum and flips out fast. All right, and there you see what's printed on the blade: Cuda Max, the blade length, the steel. Daryl Ralph, made in the USA. Nice, very nice. And overall, I would highly recommend this blade whether as a collectible piece or as a, an extra large folder for, let's just say, bad occasions. Uh, but this is very collectible. Not only is it discontinued, but the company that actually made it uh, is no longer in existence. And if you can find one of these on the secondary market, I would definitely recommend picking one up. As I said, it's very similar to the Mad Max custom folder that you can buy now for, I don't know, it's like $450. And even on the secondary market, this Cuda Max is usually less than half the price. So yeah, definitely recommend it if you can find one. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for many more. I'm out.